documentation provides a critical value to the business continuity process for many reasons. It provides the staff with written procedures that they could use when the emergency happens, it provides a knowledge base that cites how previous emergencies were handled and what went wrong, and it allows for the plan to be better facilitated on paper rather than being verbally discussed and agreed on. There are several parts of the process that should be documented. The first document is the business continuity plan goals, which should be identified before indulging in any further activities. The second document that should be present is the statement of importance, which states why the organization has dedicated significant resources to ensure business continuity. This document usually shows the support of top management of the plan, and allows for faster acceptance of change. The third document is the priorities statement which lists the business functions and operations that will be prioritized when an emergency happens. Related documents include the organizational responsibility document, and the urgency statement which states how critical the timing of dealing with an emergency is. Another part of the documentation should deal with the risk assessment that has been performed to support the business continuity process. The business impact assessment should be documented, and it should show the methods used to assess the risks, and how the decision-making of prioritization took place. The risk response action plan should be documented as well, discussing how each identified risk will be managed. It should show which risks will require action to be mitigated, and which risks will be accepted. The part about the risks that need mitigation should include details about the countermeasures and provisions that will be taken to mitigate the risks. The part about the risks that will be accepted should show the reasons behind this acceptance, and under what circumstances they will be re-evaluated. The last documentation part should cover the phases after the initial planning. The records that will be backed up and kept safe in case of an emergency should be outlined in a document, along with the procedures that will be taken to ensure it. This is not an easy task, since the records could have different values to different entities, but a common consensus should be reached. The emergency response procedures should be documented, detailing specific tasks that will be performed by specific personnel when the emergency occurs. These documents should be made easily accessible, and employees should be aware of what documents they should refer to. All the mentioned documents should be constantly maintained and updated, as new technologies get introduced, new assets are acquired, and the threat landscape changes.